In this video I'm going to show you how to wash up the Filipino way. But before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about the way I grew up washing dishes, which was the Australian way, probably the British way as well. The way we did it was to fill the sink full of water, full of warm soapy water, and then put all the dirty dishes in here, wash them, rinse them in the, in the water, and then put them into the other bowl or stack them in a dish stacker on the other side. Well, of course, as you wash up, the water gets more and more dirty and you finish up washing and rinsing your plates and cups and so on in a, in a soup of water and leftover rubbish from all the, all the things you've been cleaning. So I found out a different way of washing up and that is the Filipino way. And once I started using the Filipino way, there was no way ever I was going to go back to the Australian way. Let me show you how it's done. First of all, I'll tell you about some of the things you'll need before you start. One of the things you'll need is a spray bottle. What you do, you put in the spray bottle some uh, concentrated dishwashing liquid and you add water. Now, the amount of water you add doesn't matter too much provided you can spray it. It must, it must come out as a spray. If you can't spray it, add more water. The next thing you'll need is a sponge of some sort. The ones we like to use are these ones. They're uh, a mesh scourer, but they're non-scratch. And uh, they don't last very long, but they are very cheap, 10 or maybe 20 cents each. So in the sink here, I have uh, the leftovers from lunch. We had poached eggs for lunch. So we have some poached egg bowls. These are really neat things, by the way. All you do is put the eggs in, put in a boiling water, it floats in the boiling water, set it to simmer, and about five minutes later, you have perfectly poached eggs. Fantastic. So I'm just gonna wash those up in a few bits of cutlery as well. The other thing that's handy to have is this, something like this that goes on the edge of the sink somewhere to put your scourer. You can use a saucer if you prefer. Right, let's start. For small items, what I generally do is put some of the uh, diluted soap on the scourer and then just wash up and rinse as I go. I forgot to mention the other thing that's useful to have is a, um, a sink tap that has a flexible hose on it so that you can uh, lift it off and spray around whatever you're washing. This one also has a handy spray option which uses a lot less water but still gets the, uh, the soap off. So I'll just finish washing up these few things here. These had a little bit of olive oil in them to stop the, the eggs sticking. So they're not particularly dirty. Now to rinse. Done. Now if you're doing something larger, such as this saucepan, I usually spray the diluted soaps directly inside and 
do it this way. This is the pot I used for the poached eggs. So it's not a very dirty either. All that's left to do now is to clean the strainer and we're done. What it means is it's very easy. If you've just got a few things to clean up, you can do them straight away, get them out of the way, rather than stacking all your dirty dishes uh, to make it worthwhile to fill the sink up with hot water. So um, I like it. I like it. I love washing. Well, that's putting too strong a tone. I love... <laughs> Let me start again. I find this way of washing up very good. It's uh, efficient and it's easy and um, it's done quickly and no wasted water, no wasted detergent. So there you have it, washing up the Filipino way.